The past decade, and particularly since 9-11, has seen a surge in world's attention to supporting countries affected by conflict. A similar growth has also occurred in the number of professionals working in the fields of humanitarian development and post-conflict recovery in terms of policy making and practice. These people face a wide range of complex challenges associated with context transitioning from conflict to peace, yet rarely have the opportunity to reflect upon critical concepts, practical challenges and policy dilemmas that are crucial in terms of supporting effective transitions. The advanced course on conflict, crisis and transitions facilitates learning and guided reflection on these critical issues. This is a, a seven-day course targeted at senior level career professionals um, who work on crisis and transition and conflict settings um, and it's really aimed at more senior people in the field who, you know, for them to take a break for their busy professional lives and have some space to catch up with debates, catch up with the latest thinking in the sector, engage with senior level speakers um, and uh, discuss the challenges with uh, peers of the same level. This course is focused on the grey area between emergency response and development assistance. It tackles subjects such as peace processes and political outcomes, humanitarian principles, human rights, transitional justice, issues of displacement, how does it affect the longer term solutions, and more importantly, issues of state fragility, and what can be done to support state building in context of conflict. The course attracts uh, a, a wide variety of uh, people from all over the world. We've got colleagues who come from Pakistan, Sudan, Lebanon, uh, have cross-section of the world here in Europe. A lot of them come from the aid sector, but we also have colleagues who come from the private sector, colleagues who come from the military, um, colleagues who work at you know, the intersection of these different uh, worlds. For me, it was a great opportunity because I found that it had brought diverse experience from all over the world. People who worked in conflicts, they were from the field at the grassroots level, people at the policy level, people in the academia. And, and so it brought all sorts of experience coming here together, sharing all their experiences, learning from one another. I think it was great. In addition to a range of speakers from the PRD University of York and the Humanitarian Policy Group at ODI, we invite a number of senior diplomats, senior aid workers and practitioners to come and share their first-hand experience with the participants during the course. Some of the distinguished speakers include Professor Nicholas Haysom, political director at the Executive Office of the United Nations Secretary General, Francis Vendral, senior diplomat and former head of United Nations Special Mission to Afghanistan, Mohammed Hanif Atmar, former Interior Minister for Afghanistan until 2010, Mark Duffield, one of the most distinguished academics specializing in humanitarian issues, as well as Major General Mike Smith, who has more than 30 years service experience with the Australian Defense Force and has worked extensively in the management of complex peace operations around the world. It does bring together people from very different backgrounds and that gives us a good chance to, to discuss it gives different perspectives on the issues that are presented, which is very helpful, and to see what are the debates, where do they stand, and for, for me to sit back and have someone present it, and, and actually help me to orient myself in some of the key debates. I think what the course offers to people is the capacity to go back to their jobs and uh, you know, kind of look at, at what they do on a daily basis with the different angles. Um, the course doesn't necessarily provide answers, but it provides a different lens to look at things. It provides people um, with the elements for more critical thinking to challenge some of the things that they do on a daily basis, you know, with sort of in, a, in a sort of routine, um, and allows them to perhaps challenge some of the, um, the issues in a different way.